And then he looks at me and I'm looking at him and he goes like this. Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a Halloween favorite slash October favorite. So it's not all gonna be like Halloween spooky stuff. But to me October just means Halloween, so Halloween favorites. <laughs> Probably my favorite of the month were these animal costumes that I got for my pets. Where, where's the other one? Oh my god, they're so cute! I got these at... PetSmart, I'm pretty sure. So they're Wonder Woman and Superman. They have little tutus on them. So I put my cats in them. So cute. My dog was a watermelon. He was so cute and adorable, I couldn't even. And I got this one at HomeSense. They just made my Halloween night so amazing. So I love that. And I posted this on my Instagram and I asked you guys what you dressed, if you dressed your animals up. And I loved reading your comments. Oh my God, you guys are amazing on Instagram. I love you. So one of my top favorites was this or is this because it's currently this. This is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Shower Gel made with pure honey by Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh, the first of all the packaging is what drew me to it because it kind of looked like, you know, like a honeycomb or a honey, a honey, a beehive. <laughs> And when it said it was made with real honey, I'm like, that makes sense. It smells so good. And your bathroom just smells amazing after. Your body smells amazing. Even got a little on my hands right now, girl, yeah. Oh, so another one of my favorites was my Halloween costume on Halloween night, which is this. And it's just an oversized shirt from our den. And it says costume, costume. <laughs> obsessed with this because when on the weekend I dressed like woo like I was like all out everywhere every which way so on Halloween night I was like I just want to be comfy honestly I've never really been like woo with Halloween I like Christmas I like New Year's Eve I love Valentine's Day I love Easter even I've never really been about Halloween that much so I love that I'm just gonna do the last clothing item that I've been loving this month and that has been this Adidas sweater honestly I got this at Costco I've seen these Adidas sweaters go for like 70 80 dollars and this one I'm pretty sure was like 20 some at Costco and it actually is Adidas brand I'm like is it a knockoff because why would it be so cheap so comfy I forgot how much I loved Adidas sweaters like I used to wear them in high school and then I kind of fell off thank goodness it's trendy because they're everywhere everywhere and I can buy them. My October mood right there. Okay, I have some makeup that I have been loving. So this lipstick, this is the MAC, uh, the pink print lipstick, Nicki Minaj's lipstick, and I love this. You can wear it just on its own. You can pair with lip gloss. Obviously, you know how lipstick works. It just suits me. And today I'm wearing Edge to Edge by MAC lip liner all over my lips and filled in. And then I just took this and patted it on my lips and it just brightened up and made the Edge to Edge a little lighter. I've also been loving this Milan 3D Glitzy Glamour Gloss in Starshine. Oh my god. So I had this in my collection for years and I, I don't think I ever reached for it. I have so many glosses, so many lipsticks. Threw it on one day and I'm like, oh my god, that's beautiful. So then I started wearing it over, over top of um, lip liners and other glosses and just made it really glittery and shiny. The only thing I don't like about it is the brush. I don't like these like actual brush because I feel like they're hard and they can take away your lipstick that you're wearing underneath. Um, I prefer like a doe foot applicator, sponge tip, something nice and smooth that I can throw on, but it's not as hard of bristles as I've had with other glosses, so that is a positive. I think the packaging is so glamorous. So I love that. And it's drugstore, so it is affordable. Kat Von D Hydrating Primer. I've had this for a while too, but I haven't reached for it because I've been loving my YSL one. But this weather, it's cold, it's snowing. So I need some hydration and this really helps with that. So I really like this. It's what I've been using every single day lately for my makeup looks. I wish these were pumpkin and not peach because it'd be more like Halloween. This blush, I haven't been using it a lot, but I do really like it. And it's this blush in Papa Don't Peach. It's it smells so good. I am wearing it today. It's just nice and peachy. It gives you that like glow. It does have shimmer in it too and the smell of it. I put a little bit on my tip of my nose so I can just like literally smell peaches all day. <laughs> and then this. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mats and the packaging is gorgeous. And here is the palette. So it is all just mattes, which I, that's why I gravitated towards it because I have a lot of shimmery shadows that are peachy and I wanted just like some matte ones just to do like, a normal everyday look. Wonderful, wonderful shadows and they smell like peaches. <laughs> Probably my top, top fave other than the body wash would be my lash extensions. I am obsessed. My sister was basically the person who inspired it for me because her lashes are gorgeous. And honestly, it takes me like 
15 minutes, like between 10 to 15 minutes, depending what kind of look I'm doing or what I'm wearing, to do my makeup. And even if I'm not even wearing makeup, when I get up, I was really hungover one day and I needed Taco Bell. My mom drove me and when I got into the car, she's like, why did you put on makeup to go to Taco Bell? I'm like, I didn't, I'm hungover and I feel like crap. She's like, oh, it's your lashes. So even if I look like poop, my lashes are still cute and make me look put together. So I just, I love it so much. I'm somebody that I really don't care if I don't wear makeup, hey literal your lashes look so good in your snaps girl my lashes are just my fave honestly so before i get into my biggest not favorite the biggest thing i hate this month <laughs> i'm gonna finish the favorites by telling you my favorite song and movie my favorite song is 100 percent gucci gang by lil pop lil pop hi lil pop oh lil honestly lil pop swag like he has so much swag i am a fan girl of Lil Pump right now. There hasn't been a rapper that's been stepped on the scene other than Nicki Minaj for a while that I've been like, I really like this rapper. That's why I always listen to old school, like old school Lil Wayne, old school Ice Cube, Nicki Minaj, like all like older, not like old like Biggie and Tupac, like I still love them, don't get me wrong. Nothing really has jumped out to me, like I like the music nowadays, but it's not like I love it. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not shading it. And my boyfriend started talking about Lil Pump and he's like, this guy sucks, <laughs> like I can't stand him. And then went on a Twitter rant, Twitter rant, like I blah, 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 like new music nowadays, blah. and I was like, oh my God, like just like saying it to the world. And people were getting mad at him, like defending Lil Pump and everything. And I had never heard of Lil Pump at this time, like I didn't even know. And then I was scrolling on YouTube and there was one of his music videos. So I clicked it and I'm like, he has so much swag. That's how I would look if I was a guy. Like he is swagged up from head to toe. And then Gucci Gang came out and I'm like, I instantly found like the first 10 seconds of that video, I'm like, I love Lil Pump, I love him. But he's not your cup of tea, that's cool. Like, I'm not telling you to like Lil Pump, you know I mean? I'm not telling you to like me or like whoever I like. It's cool, like, if you don't. But my boyfriend is pissed. <laughs> he's like, you couldn't have liked anyone else. My favorite movie of the month is The Beguiled. Oh, I really, really liked it. The previews, to me, made it seem different than what the movie was in a good way. Like, I love the previews, I love the movie, but I thought it was gonna go a different way when I was watching it. Blown away. Dalton also hated it, so if you watch it and you hate it, you might like it, you might hate it. It's kind of slow to begin with, but then it just, I don't know, it's just a very well put together movie. Kristen Dunst is in it, Colin Farrell, um, beautiful. Okay, so now my hatred of the month. Quick little story time. Me and Dalton, our friends, were cruising around, hanging out. Um, we stopped for Wendy's. I got some nachos and cheese. Love nachos and cheese. So I took out my Invisalign, this little plastic retainer here to make my teeth straight. Took it out, put it in my door, like the door pocket thing, because there was no room because everyone had like their drinks and vapes and stuff. So I just stuck it in the door like that and then ate. And then we started cruising around. Saw my friend. I was like, I need to give him a hug. Love him. So I stepped out of the car, gave him a hug, talked for a bit, went back in, started driving around. And I'm like, my Invisalign isn't in the door. Everyone's like, oh, you probably put it in the Wendy's bag. I'm like, why would I put it in the Wendy's bag? I didn't, I put it here. And Dalton's like, oh, it's probably in your purse. I'm like, no, like it's here. Like I know what I did. Pet peeve is when you know you did something and people are doubting you. They're like, no, you didn't. And you're like, I did it, I would know. But they're like making me think like, oh, did I not do it? And I'm like questioning myself, even though I know. So I was like, okay, go back to where I hopped out the whip to give my friend a hug and go back there. Maybe my Invisalign is sitting there. We go back. And I said, I can't even go look, Dalton, can you go look for me? The Invisalign is so expensive, like, oh. So he goes and he pulls out my bottom set. Perfectly fine. And then he looks at me and I'm looking at him and he goes like this. And I went, what does that mean? My bottom's fine. My top has been run over by a hater. Just kidding. <laughs> flattened, flattened. What happened? Oh my God, like it's been run over like ah! Now this was on the weekend and I change out these every Tuesday. So now I'm like, I can wear the bottoms, no problem, but obviously I'm gonna go home and scrub them and wash them and you know, you know, put mouthwash, douse it on them and scrub them, scrub them, scrub them, because they were on the ground. The top one, I said, you know what, maybe I can make it work, even though like, you can't. So I scrubbed it and it's, I put the bottom one in, clicked right perfectly, put this one in. No, no, it was like falling all over the place, scratching my mouth. Eh. So I put my next tray top one in, kept these bottom ones in, and 
Is that gonna be a problem? I don't know, they fit perfectly fine, which I was like, thank goodness. I am on refinements right now. I am done Invisalign, like I'm done the whole um, 20 weeks of Invisalign. I am just on refinements. And my dentist did tell me that refinements go very quickly. So, uh, you know, I can put them in the new tray a couple days early if they do fit. So I was like, thank goodness that this is happening when I can put them in a few days early. But that's not the point. This is cool, like, run over. I can't. Like, why wouldn't I just put it in my purse? Who am I? I don't know how it fell out. Haters. <laughs> my answer for everything. Just make sure you're checking before you drive away. Did we run it over? Did my friend run it over? Did a hater run it over? Who knows? Conspiracy theory 101. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites and hatred of the month. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a really fantastic day and a beautiful November. I really loved um, everyone who subscribed to my channel in October. Thank you so much and for following me on Snapchat and Instagram and everything. I really appreciate you guys and just remember to do you at all times. Be you stay smiling and I love you guys so much. Bye guys!